Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Not long ago I did a video on the Victorinox Compact uh, Swiss Army Knife and this thing is a really nice little companion knife in my opinion to the Swiss Tool. And so I've been carrying these off and on. Uh, some days I'll use my Surge and other days I'll go back to the Victorinox for probably the last, I don't know, month or so. And I'm going to tell you about my experience with it. So first of all, the Compact is a really great little uh, 91 millimeter knife. It's just a two layer knife, but it incorporates some of the things that I really like with Victorinox. First of all, it has the 91 millimeter scissors, which work exceptionally well. It gives you a backup blade, which is always nice. And these blades just work great. And instead of having a, uh, a, a smaller pin blade knife, or a little uh, file and uh, fingernail cleaner combo. This one includes the combination tool, which has, has a bunch of different functions actually. So first of all, it'll lock in 90, locks into the outside, has a mini wire stripper, has a bottle cap lifter, doubles as a can opener. Both of them work pretty well. I found the can opener doesn't work, or the bottle cap lifter, I'm sorry, doesn't work as good. Uh, and the can opener, while it's not what I'm accustomed to, it does work and it works uh, decent enough. Has a flathead screwdriver and, and one thing that had to be pointed out to me and I didn't know about this was that the angle that these two are set at is actually the same as a number two Phillips. So it doubles as a flat Phillips as well, which is pretty handy actually. Now that's not that I would need it when using it in combination with this tool but it's nice to have on there. It also includes a corkscrew, which this tool does not have. Uh, corkscrew is not something I use a lot because I'm not a wine drinker, but corkscrews can be used for other things like, uh, you know, if you're working with paracord a lot and you, need to, and you get something tied pretty tight, uh, you can, it, it helps to untie those knots. And it also includes a little micro driver for those that would wear eyeglasses and need to adjust their glasses. Also comes with the all-purpose hook, which again is another tool that I, I see the usefulness of it. It's just that I don't use it that often. Uh, I can't even remember the last time I used the all-purpose hook. But I can definitely see in a time and a situation where I would be glad I had it on there. Also includes a little mini file on the back, a little fingernail file. Now that is pretty useful. Uh, just a quick access uh, fingernail file. This one also includes the plus scales which gives you a toothpick, gives you the writing pin, it gives you the straight pin underneath here. The, that's always handy. Now I haven't used that in the last month or so, but I'm definitely glad that it's on there. And then a set of tweezers, which are also very convenient tool to have. And I found that this works really, really well in combination with the, with the uh, the large Swiss tool and the Swiss tool is kind of the one that I gravitate towards and the reason I do is because I like the fact that it has the serrated blade on it. Uh, I'm a big fan of serrated blades. I, I just I use them a lot because I do a lot of uh, rope cutting and stuff of that nature. So it's one of those tools that you know I know a lot of people don't necessarily need it but it's something that I definitely get a lot of use out of and so I prefer the Swiss tool over the Swiss tool CS. Well, I got to tell you, this combination has worked really, really well for me. The only thing is, is that because I'm a Leatherman Surge user, a couple of things that, that I miss from the Surge that kind of steers me away from this combination. And it's not because I don't like the Compact as an accessory to the Swiss tool. I think it's a great combination, as a matter of fact. What I don't necessarily care for is that on my Surge, uh, one of the things that I love about it is the one-handed blade accesses. So for both my serrated and my standard blade, where on the Swiss tool, it's something you have to get accustomed to, uh, to pull out your saw, your file, and your two blades. It's a, it's a two-handed operation. Uh, for uh, That's probably one of the, th the hardest things to get accustomed to. The next thing is, is that I do quite a bit of electrical uh, small electrical repair work with my multi-tools when I have them on me. And the Surge offers me the ability to have a wire crimper and then this one is the one I've been customizing and so I've kind of set it up similar to what the the Swiss Tool Spirit uh, X is where it has the cable cutting tool and 
when I did this one, it just worked out really, really well. And that's something that I miss. I, I wish that they would have done the same thing. Let's pull that, that tool in here real quick. So on the Swiss tool, Spirit X, they have the cable cutter, they have another wire cutter here, they have the chisel, and they have a package opener uh, front on it as well. Where in the Swiss tool, they didn't do that. And I can't for the life of me figure why they wouldn't do that. Now they do have the chisel, but they don't have the little box cutter. And you can see the configuration of the two wire strippers where they do it a little bit differently. Had they opened this up and made it just like this, Boy, this would be so much better. Now, you know, not everybody needs to work on, on electrical stuff, and so I can understand why it's not in there. But that's something I, you know, it wouldn't take very much to put it in there. And for those that don't need it, I mean, you don't use it. But for those that do need it, it would be nice if it was on there. So the combination of the tool, of, of the two tools, works really, really well. This one works exceptionally well now that I put a suspension clip on it. Uh, that makes it a lot handier because I do not like having, uh, I just don't like having stuff in the bottom of my pocket. It, it just bugs me. And so to have it on a suspension clip has made a world of difference. It really has. These two tools together, I think work incredibly well. It's a little hard for me to get used to carrying the Swiss tool on a normal basis because I'm so accustomed to the Leatherman Surge. Also another thing that I miss with the Surge, and especially with this one, now that we have integrated EOD cutters into this one. This is a much better wire cutter. Uh, and th again, that goes back to electrical theme stuff. This is a much better wire cutter than this one is. This is a little tough to get used to. Sometimes uh, I found that the modified pliers, the more of those hybrid pliers are, are, are convenient in some situations, but I kind of miss the, the more needle nose pliers. I think they're, I think they're just better for what the tasks that I use my multi tools for. So there's a couple of things that are a little tough to get used to, but then there's some benefits to the Swiss tool as well. First of all, it carries uh, a lot more streamlined than the Surge. I'll give it that for sure. So it's a much smaller package that you have there. With the Surge, let me get the other my spare case here, so we can kind of put those side by side and compare them. So while the surge is not overly big, uh, well, I guess it is for most people, but for me it's not. Uh, the Swiss tool definitely carries more streamlined. That's, that's a big, big benefit to it. Uh, another thing that I miss about not having on the surge is the fact that I have a, uh, the, uh, the screwdriver uh, uh, exchanger, the bit exchanger. That's something that I do get a lot of use out of, uh, just switching back and forth between bits. Where on this one, it has a very good number two Phillips. That's very nice to have. And it has a very good uh, regular screwdriver on, let's see right here. This is a very, very nice screwdriver, pry bar tool. And the Surge has something similar to that as well. So it's a little tough to get used to not having the driver capability that you would just get with the surge. Now the surge just gives you an extra bit because you can flip it around, but then you can also throw in several of their flat bits. And while not quite as good as a full dimensional Phillips, uh, I do find that it does more than adequate work for what I need. If I've got a screw that really is gonna require more than that, I mean, I have the tools to use it. I just use the surge because of a convenience factor. So it's a little tough for me to get used to this tool, but I find that the Compact is just an excellent, excellent companion tool to the Swiss tool, especially considering the fact that it has those 91 millimeter scissors and the scale tools, which really, I think this is probably the combination between multi-tool and Swiss Army knife that I would recommend. Now there's some other Swiss Army knives that I like a lot as well. In particular, the Pioneer X. I also like the Electrician, which would also be a very good combo tool with this one. The difference between those and the Compact is that they don't offer the scale tools. And sometimes those scale tools can come in incredibly handy. So this has been my take on what I thought about this combination, carrying it off and on for the last, well, I guess it's been about a month or maybe a month and a half now. 
I found it to be very useful. I just find it, it's a little hard for me to get adjusted to. At any rate, my name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate your views, and I'll see you in the next one.